I wanted to show you how to do a couple of functions with dates. Um, you've probably uh, needed to do some calculations with dates. I'm going to add a couple in here. Um, basically, I have a project, I have a start date, I have an end date, and then I have a group of holidays that I want to use for my calculations. So if I were just to do this with um, a simple calculation saying this is my end date minus this is my beginning date, I'm going to get a result of 122 days total. But that doesn't help me if I'm trying to figure out a work week, like five uh, work days in a seven day week. So I'm going to use a different function. This one is called net work days. So I'm going to start it here in the cell, net work days, here it is. Um, if this is one you haven't done before, use the FX box and get in there and fill these parts out. Um, anytime you start a function like that, you open the parentheses, you can always click the FX and get into that function and uh, put together the argument from there. So I'm just going to put the pieces in. There's my start date. There's my end date in that cell, and then I get to give a range of my holidays. And when I put those in and say OK, that is giving me a result of only 85 days. Then I could take that out. I could take it a step further, and I could say equals this date divided by 5 and kind of come up with how many weeks. That's about 17 weeks worth of work. A couple other date functions you may know or not know. You've got the equal today. That is a volatile function. You don't have to put any argument in there. It always is going to update based on your computer's entry, whatever is set on your computer. Another one that I like is equal now. Again, a volatile one. You don't have to put anything in the parentheses that's going to give you not only the date, but the timestamp as well. Uh, okay, that's it. A few little dates for you.